Hi, we're Gary and Linda with Blazing New Trails and welcome to our channel. We've been in the midst of a series on our Rose Parade Adventure. adventures and we thought it might be a good break because we've been, had our trailer now for about two years and we showed a video when we first got it and we thought it might be a good time to do a recap on what we like, what we maybe don't like as much. And some of the improvements we've made. So that's not to say that we don't like our trailer. We we love it. And yeah. it's taken us on some pretty amazing adventures so far. And we've got a lot more planned. So as we go through this video, if maybe there's some things that stand out to you, some improvements that maybe we should consider, please make a note in the comments and tell us because we're open to anything that you might suggest to us. So with that, what do you yeah, say moving. we get on with it? Yeah. So we're going to start with the outside first. What I really like, and maybe I'm going to say it's kind of grown on me, but uh, I added this Moride retractable shelf. And when I say it's grown on me, I lost a little bit of space, but what it did was it forced me to get better organized, which obviously we all need to do. But the one thing I really do like about it is that when I get to my tools, I don't have to set my toolbox down on the ground. I can work right from the shelf and get to things very easily. It's almost at a, you know, a height that, that I can manage. So I really like that. Now what I don't like is, and maybe this is my fault, it just opens from one side. Moride does make these retractable shelves that open on both sides. So if this is an improvement that you want to make with your camper and that's something important to you, make sure that you are careful and find one that, that does open from both sides. But for me, it's, it's really been a, a nice improvement. I well, like it's it. so convenient. It makes it so that you don't have to crawl into the bay to get things. And that's a good point. I found myself... <clears throat> And I'm 6'2", and we'll see how that also plays into it a little bit later on when we go inside. But, you know, I find myself always leaning over, reaching back, hitting my head. <laughs> so, I don't do that as much now. And uh, that, that's a huge help. So the other thing I've done too, and Linda, if you can kind of come down a little bit closer. I have been able to use the underside of the shelf, putting, you know, smaller, more narrow things in there on the sides. I can still take advantage of space on the sides. I've got my tire changing equipment here on this side. So, uh, you know, you, you can use little crevices and things to, to store things. Well, and you still have this area down here, too. And you still have that. Yeah. So... So, all in all, it, it's, it's been good. As you can see, I'm underneath the slide out, and we made this mod at the Grand Design National Rally, and you're gonna see that we've added a lot of Moride accessories. And this one, we are really happy to have made. It's the Alltrek 4000 suspension series, which also includes three of the cross members. If you want to protect your camper from the roads, uh, it does help buffer the bumps along the ride and uh, really protects your trailer from having to absorb a lot of the, the nasty roads that are out there because it can really do some pretty significant damage to your camper. So, so instead of a 7.2 earthquake, maybe it's only a 4 or 5 point <laughs> whatever earthquake. <laughs> Well, hopefully it's a lot less than that. <laughs> Maybe a one or a two. <laughs> so a lot of you know that Lynn and I are avid cyclists, and one of the upgrades we made was this four-station bike rack. Now, the one thing you have to be careful about is they make these bike racks 
for just specifically for RVs. And so you have to be really careful to get the right one. Um, at times, as you're going down the road, there can be a lot of extra forces from the road that are going to really rock this rack. And um, Thule makes a really, really good bike rack and has very high ratings. This is a four station rack. We've had as many as three bikes in it, and we've had it now as long as we've had the, the RV. So it does a great job. Now something I really like with this camper, and maybe a lot of you also have this feature, but we talked about it in our initial video, it's the Nautilus system. And what I really like about this is just how well you have these descriptions. It lays everything out, it color-coded, shows you how each of these knobs need to be placed in order to dry camp, get your city water, to winterize, sanitize, or fill your fresh water tank. Even it's a three-year-old can do it. Yeah, it's just <laughs> it's got pictures. It's that easy. <laughs> and then the other thing too, and I've kind of learned this as we've gone. Oops. See what I talk about? One of the hazards of being tall. <laughs> um, the other thing I like too, and Linda, come over here. When you're flushing the, your black tank, you can hook your hose into this nozzle here and it's going to rinse your black tank. And what I've tried to do every time we flush the black tank is I'll run that for about 10 minutes and, uh, and let kind of let the water soak out as much of the waste, the waste as possible. And uh, so... I'm not saying that always works because sometimes those gauges aren't the best. <laughs> but anyway, we, I feel better about cleaning it out each time we kind of close things up. We just added these Moride X-Brace stabilizers. So we've probably had them on the camper for a couple weeks now, so we're still getting used to them. But from what little bit we've seen, it does take out a lot of the, the shake. I get to do something outside. So, um, because they're your steps. They are my steps. <laughs> the one thing that bothered me the most when we first got this trailer was that the steps that it came with were like two steps, Gary. I don't know, was it three? Two or three steps. And they were the ones that just kind of hover. They just, they don't go all the way to the ground. So they're kind of, they were kind of a high step depending on how high up the trailer was. And they bounced. I didn't like that. Our dog definitely didn't like that. She was not a fan. No, she would not go down those steps. She's a short-legged dog. Um, so then we thought we wanted to get the Moride stairs that just kind of flip, flip straight up. up and go inside the door. Here's the problem. Come here, let me show you. Hmm. So those these steps, steps make it a problem. Yes, they come <laughs> out several inches and back up please they come out several inches and there's no way for those flip up stairs where is he's going to come say hi to get inside the door so that was not an option so we started looking around we also had some friends who um we noticed that they had these torque lift glow Glow Step Revolution Stairs. Let me show you. So they have a little peg here that kind of holds it in. A little safety. A security feature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the other thing that I really like too from an installation standpoint, it's plug and play. You don't have to change anything because these steps fit directly into your trailer so and we did a video on that so maybe took an uh, hour and a half two hours to to install but it was really easy yeah so what I like is that they're totally adjustable no matter where you are they're very light they're great for me and they just in and out you know I could put them down here but of course not. Um, just depends on the terrain where you are and then at the bottom here there's little holes on this side here we'll go on this side 
there's little holes here so you can adjust the uh, the legs right there. So adapts, just, adapts to really any terrain. Yeah. Pull them up. Done. Voila, it's that simple. Yeah. Then you secure them with that pin. Yep, they're not going anywhere. We awesome. bought some um, some little stair carpet pieces to go on there. All right, one last thing before we get drenched here is the safety rail, rail by MoRide. Um, we like this because first of all, it's longer, it's sturdier, but the other one that they had on here was the type that folds across your door. That is not a good safety feature. So anybody could come up to your trailer and close it. You can't get out. What if there's a fire or something? Can't get out of your trailer. So we like this better. It's very secure. And, uh, and it's really sturdy too. It's very really, sturdy. really stable. Yeah. And, you know, that's all there is to it. Okay. Um, we're inside now. <laughs> of course. And I uh, thought we'd just start on one side and work our way around. Um, we're going to start in the dining area. Um, something we really don't use. We uh, took the table and turned it sideways. Gary unbolted it, rebolted it in there. We have always, even at home, we eat dinner on the couch, hold our plates. Because <laughs> we only have a dining room table. Um, so it's just comfortable for us. And we do the same thing here. So, that's with the table. It's extra workspace for whatever we need it for. We, I did buy this from Ikea. It is a shoe storage. It doesn't open very far because we've turned the table. But you're supposed to be able to put your shoes in here. There's two separate sections. Gary's feet are too big. <laughs> so, We've been just using it for storage. This is Rosie's winter coat, and I've got a hat and umbrella, things like that. And in the bottom, I do have my, uh, my hiking shoes are in here, and a few other things, another umbrella. I'm not sure if we're going to keep that or not. We'll see. Uh, but we thought, we were always wondering, what do we do with our shoes? You know, you want them out of the way. So might work for you. I think it was $50 at Ikea. And then we have a um, recycle container here, which I won't get on my soapbox about that. The lack thereof. Oh my gosh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Next, um, something that we, I really don't like, and I've seen other RVs <clears throat> by other makers that have changed it up. I like their way better. But for now, we're stuck with it. <laughs> it's our side tables at the sofa. Um, one on each side. And as you can see, these are really long. That's probably a couple of feet long, deep. And they open here. And storage goes all the way back there. But once you start moving this trailer, everything pushes back. And my little hands, arms, aren't long enough to get all the way to the back. So kind of useless storage for the most part. Now this side we have some exercise equipment, things like that in there, yoga mat. Um, but other makers seem to have come up with the idea of having this top open. It's hinged here and it just opens. It only takes up part of the space and then at least you have a place to put your remote control and you know maybe charge your phone in there or something, pens. I, I think that that is a lot better use of the space. One thing I really like is the fireplace. We use it all the time. Um, and I think really more so on this trip than really any other because we found the the benefit of it. Yes, we save a lot of propane. We've had some pretty chilly days and we don't want to run the propane all the time. That costs money. Electric fireplace. Yay! To the rescue. And it blows hot air. It's, you know, keeps the chill off in here. And like I said, I know a lot of people don't use theirs at all. They're boo. They don't like it. I don't understand. Well, <laughs> we you, love it. <laughs> you can set a timer. Yes. And then you can also set the temperature and as well. you can set the temperature. So, win-win. So. All right. Pantry. We have a great pantry. 
really good amount of space. I can fit everything in here for the most part. I do have a separate stash <laughs> above the TV. But what I found is they put one motion sensor light in the top. That only helps with the top shelf. What about the next three shelves? So I purchased, can you come over this way, Gary, so I can kind of see them on the side? I purchased these. And they just kind of stick in there. They take four AAA batteries. And they're kind of squirrely as far as, sometimes they want to work, sometimes they don't. Um, Seems like lately, though, they've been working. They've been pretty, pretty consistent. Well. Yeah. So I just got those on Amazon. And uh, so that's my little upgrade in here. So now we can see things. <laughs> Find out what we have. Next, let's talk about our island. When we first bought this trailer, I was like, oh, the island. I love my island. Because I thought, I have so much work surface. Well, I don't really use all this work surface because we have a big sink here in the middle. And, you know, when you cook, you're always taking, you're cutting things, you're putting your uh, cutting board and your chef's knife in the sink, different things. They're always going in here. So you're not really having an opportunity to put these in here and use them. So I find these kind of useless. They sit on the counter while we are parked somewhere. And when we're on the road, they go into the oven to keep them safe. But other than that, I found that when we're traveling and you have these on there, you hit a bumpy road, they end up in the sink. And I'm afraid they're going to break. So I don't use them. Lastly in this area is the refrigerator. It's a good refrigerator. We haven't had any problems with it at all, but I find it's not very deep. So if you like to have a really full refrigerator, full of food, which is not like us, usually I shop maybe twice a week because things are in and out. But I would say the inside here, these shelves are maybe six to seven inches deep. Not very. So um, that, that's my biggest complaint if you're somebody who likes to stock your refrigerator with lots of food and drinks. There's not a whole lot of room. For us, it's fine. We don't have a problem with it. And the freezer, still, yeah, we don't fill it with a ton of stuff. I think that's just come to from... Um, as we travel, you know, and the refrigerator is off, we do not travel with our propane on. And uh, I don't want everything to keep thawing and freezing, thawing and freezing. So that's about it down here. I think next we're gonna travel up to the bathroom and the bedroom. Okay, our bathroom has two doors, one from the hallway, one into the bedroom, which is nice. We like that, have a little barn door here. So that works out really well. Uh, things in the bathroom. We changed out the toilet seat. It did break yeah. and it was going back and forth. So we changed it out just recently to a soft close. And that's really nice. Yeah. And we got that on Amazon. Yeah. yeah they had the right kind, the right size. It was perfect. In the shower. Shower's okay for somebody four foot, 11 and a half, mm -hmm. like me. Yeah, but for Gary, here, Gary, let me come in. I gotta watch my head, obviously. And he usually doesn't wear a hat in the shower. Oh, there he is! <laughs> but it's also nice to have this skylight for a little extra. You have a Head little, like, yeah, it looks like you have, what, maybe an extra four or five inches there. Yeah, not that I really need it, but. It's not the height, I don't think. I think it has to, to do with just it's, moving around. It's tough to move around. Here, let me come over here. Yeah, yeah put, put your arms up to wash your hair. You know, it, it's yeah. not a lot of room. See, his arms already out <laughs> you shut the door. <laughs> We get by. <laughs> we do. And thankfully, our shower head, we, we sh uh, changed it out to an oxygenator, which yeah. it's, it's fine. But, it you know, it does come with the, um, the got, long got a, nice hose. a hose. Yeah. 
So it makes it easier for me. It's actually, Gary, can you move it up and down a little bit so they can? No, not like that. The little ball in the back. See how it moves around a little bit like that? Yeah. So for me, I always have it down low. Gary could pull it up like that and at least maybe until it starts falling down, it slowly falls. And, and this, this was a... This was a really easy install. Yeah, yeah. So Rosie, I think, is going to show us the next things. Ha uh ha. -huh. Okay, we did a video on this, and it's been a, I think, pretty nice addition because we also have this, this sleep number mattress. So it made the, the, the bed a lot heavier. So anytime Linda would try to access the storage underneath, it would never stay up so yeah and it had those hydraulic things well, right but they just the, weren't strong enough these gas pistons so change those out which was relatively easy again did a video on it and uh, so now as you can tell it stays up really nice but the other new feature Linda alluded to this earlier about shoes and my running shoes would kind of get in the way. Oh, they were everywhere. They kept flipping it was, over. It was, and, it was yeah. terrible. So Linda found this shoe rack at Home Depot. Lowe's. Whatever. And uh, it's really sturdy. It's metal. Yeah. Really easy install. And shoes are up off the floor now and just feel a lot more organized. Someday we'll put in another one for me. But especially for as big as his shoes are, as long as they are, you know, we needed something. And his shoes, there's an inch or so there, but he has to lift the mattress to be able to get to his shoes for the most part. Unless he has me do it. Or we can train Rosie. Rosie, Fetch. can you get the shoes? <laughs> Fetch. <laughs> so this is where our hanging clothes go. There's not much room. Now, right now, it's laundry day, like I said. Usually, this is filled, completely filled, two-thirds Gary's clothes and one-third mine. Well, the other thing I'll say, though, too, is we had to pack for a couple different seasons. For every which makes season. It more, <laughs> which makes it a lot more difficult. Yeah. Usually, we haven't had a problem. For some reason, Gary has just had lots of hanging clothes. And we did end up buying... I bought these hangers that are like felt lined or you know felt and they're very very thin so they take up less room but the other thing with the felt in here. that i like is your shirts seem to yeah st stay on the the hanger a lot easier right yep so then i have the small you can close it i have the small drawer down here gary has two there as, as you can see gary has twice as many clothes as i do a lot of that is for work, working out clothes. <laughs> and then up on top, you know, he has this great big one. Gosh, I'm a girl. I'm supposed to have all the space for the clothes, Gary. But he has the big one over here because this is his side of the bed. This works out. He has more room because he is a big guy. I have this little bit of space right here, but I'm okay. I'm not going to complain about it. It's fine for me. And then behind here, you know, you find those little hidden places. So I've got two here. Usually I put a backpack, my hat. These are the hooks I told you about earlier. Just put those on. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, that's the wrap up on the trailer after two years. You know, we really haven't changed a whole lot. Um, they made a couple of minor adjustments and things on the outside, especially, but we're really happy with the trailer. It's the a really good size for us being the couple's trailer. I think that's, I'm not sure if that's a grand design thing or just what people have started calling it. It's plenty of room for us. We travel the last couple of years since we've done this, six or seven months out of the year. So not full time, but I think it's, it's more than enough room and and we have the dog she's a little dog you know i think if you have a bigger dog you might think oh i don't know yeah. <laughs> dog needs more exercise even inside um 
but we can get away from each other. One of us can go up in the bedroom, but we really don't have that problem. We like no. to be near each other. <laughs> um, I think one of the last things I will say about the dining area, we're really comfortable with just sitting on the couch and watching TV as we eat dinner or whatever. Yeah, because we, I mean, we, we do that at home. We so. do that at home. <laughs> Now, those big dining room. <laughs> but, 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 but thinking about your parents, they would almost do the same thing, but they had TV trays. They had TV trays, <laughs> that's right. And they would sit in there. So. <laughs> I haven't thought so about that. So just kind of an offshoot of that. Right. In a way. I'm not sure how much longer we're going to keep this trailer. Um, we have seen another one, another grand design. It's just a little bit bigger than this one uh, that we like a couple of the features in it. Uh, so I'm not sure how many more little changes we would make, like in the dining room and putting in that, like the little bar type thing um, with the chairs. I think we'll just probably keep it pretty much the way it is now until we decide to move on to something else. She's yeah. been a good little trailer for she us. She has. And, you know, grand design, we haven't had really any quality issues. The, no. Maybe the one thing that we did have with the front awning Oh. There was a there was an issue with the awning going out sometimes, not going out, retracting. Uh, Grand Design going worked out with and then us, not coming all the way back. Yeah. <laughs> Grand Design worked with us. We found that it was a, a void in the motor. They replaced the motor for us, and you know that's really the only major issue we've we've had with yeah, the truck. And that's super minor. Yeah. And the thing is, is that we're second owners. They did not have to take care of that for us, but they stepped up and they did. And we were surprised yeah. because we took it to our local dealer who we didn't even buy the trailer from. <laughs> and they checked into it and called Grand Design. Grand Design said, we'll take care of it. Yeah. And we are extremely grateful for that. Um, yeah. yeah, we've been very happy with Grand Design. And we're sure you would be too. For sure. Yeah. And we didn't get endorsed to say that. We've just, uh, we just really like and appreciate the quality that Grand Design puts into their, their campers. Oh, yeah. So Very happy. We appreciate you following us. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the button, the like button, subscribe, and the little bell so that you get notified when we have a new video out. And like Until we said then. earlier... If there's maybe a suggestion or something that you might have. Yeah. Um, you know, again, Linda said that, you know, we might be doing something different with our trailer situation. Who knows? But <laughs> but leave us a comment. We'd be definitely interested in, in hearing what you have to say, maybe what you like or don't like. And uh, we'd appreciate that. So I think for, with all that said... We're going to hit the trails, and we hope to see you on the trails. Bye for now. Bye for now.